So this question is a translate word problem question. So what we want to do is read a sentence at a time and make sure to write down any quantitative information as we go. So let's read the first sentence here. So the first sentence of this question says, in 2015, the populations of city X and city Y were equal. So I'm going to write that down because that's quantitative. So the year is 2015, and we have X is equal to Y for the population, which I'll just say pop. Next sentence from 2010 to 2015. Okay, so over here I have my years, 2010 to 2015. The population of city X increased by 20%. So we get to, I'll just write it this way, under 20. So if, okay, so if the population of in 20, 2010 was I don't know, then in 2015 it's going to be a 120% higher than that, which means 1.2 times that, right? 120% higher it's the same as saying 1.2 times. And then for the population of city Y, decreased by 10%. So whatever the population of city Y was in 2010, which I'll just call Y, in 2015 is now going to be 0.9%, or I'm sorry, 90%, or 0 0.9 times that value, right? 90% of Y is the same as 0 0.9 times Y. The next sentence says, if the population of city X was 120,000 in 2010, okay, so that means I actually do know, let's just go down here, that the population was 120,000 for X in 2010. So for 2015, the population should be 1.2 times that 120,000. So throw that into my calculator. And what I get is 144,000. So that's the population in 2015. Now, remember from the very start here that we were told that in 2015, the populations for X and Y were equal to each other. So for city Y in 2015, the population is also 144,000. Okay, so let's see, what are we asked to find here? So if the population of city X was 120,000 in 2010, what was the population of city Y in 2010. Okay, so we want to figure out what the population was here. Well, I'm going to match these two positions, right? I know that in 2015, we are at 90% of the population in 2010 for city Y. So if I know that that population was 144,000, right, I can just say, well, what was 0 0.9 times 144,000? Throw that into my calculator, and what I get is 160,000. So the answer must be choice C.